in this uh, question 129 you have been given charge as a function of time it reads that the charge flowing through a resistance r varies with time t as q is equal to at minus bt square q is equal to at minus bt square you can differentiate and get the value of i as dq by dt this is equal to a minus 2 bt if you make it equal to 0 you can also get the time for which the current is flowing now it says that uh, where a and b are positive constants total heat produced in r total heat produced will be i square r dt to be integrated between t is equal to 0 to this t a by 2b you understand so the expression of i is already with you a minus 2 bt whole square r dt to be integrated between 0 to a by 2b if you calculate that you will be getting the answer aqr by 6b as total heat produced so i am marking answer 2 for this question 129 now switch over to question 130 this uh, question 130 is uh, based on common emitter configuration of a transistor it says that npn transistor is connected in common emitter configuration in a given amplifier a load resistance 800 ohm that means output resistance has been given and uh, the voltage drop across it is 0.8 volt that is fine output voltage if the current amplification factor is 0 0.96 ic upon ib has been given to you and the input resistance of the circuit is 192 ohm then the voltage gain and the power gain you see voltage gain is simply i out into r out upon i in into r in you understand this entire thing has been given to you as 0.96 as you can see here isn't it 0.96 the output resistance has been given to be equal to 800 and this has been given to be equal to input resistance 192 so this is equal to 4 so voltage gain is 4 and power gain is nothing but voltage gain multiplied by current gain current gain is 0.96 has been given to you so that will become 3.84 so the correct answer for this will be option 2, 4 and 3.84. This is the answer to question 130. Now switch over to next question that is question 131. Uh, this question 131 reads that a piece, piece of ice falls from a height h so that it melts completely. Only one quarter of the heat produced is absorbed by the ice and all energy of ice gets converted into heat during its fall so what is the kind of energy it had this is potential energy mgh so one fourth of that is getting absorbed by the ice to completely melt itself you see here this is the potential energy of the ice one fourth of that will be going into melting so m into l and you have supposed to calculate the value of h l is latent heat of ice so this is 4 l by g so this is what you are supposed to calculate 4 l l value has been given to you 4 into 3.4 into 10 to the power 5 and g value is given to you as 10 so it will be ultimately coming out to be 136 kilometer you understand 136 kilometer so i am marking option 4 for this question 131 switch over to next question that is question 132 here in this uh, question 132 you have been given a square loop abcd this is the ABCD square loop carrying a current I, say in clockwise direction. Placed near and coplanar with a long straight conductor XY carrying a current capital I. So there will be force of interaction between them. If the current is in the same direction here, it will be attraction and here and here there will be repulsion because the currents are in opposite direction. These two wires will be experiencing equal and opposite forces. They will be cancelling. Now see. You have to find out the net force on the loop so use the formula force per unit length this is mu naught i1 i2 upon 2 pi d so in the first case it is d is l by 2 multiplied by the length l so this is the force on this and force on this wire will be opposite to that so i am using minus sign once again mu naught i1 i2 upon 2 pi d this time d is what separation is total 3 l by 2 this is l by 2 plus l 3 l by 2 so this is 3 l by 2 
and length of the wire. So this is what you are supposed to calculate. If you calculate this thing, you will be getting the answer 2 for this 2 mu naught ii upon 3 pi. You can check that answer and this is the answer to question 132. Now switch over to next question that is 133. 